Okay. Um, if you don't have a spark, make sure your kill switch is in the on position. This is off. This is on. Um, this right here will also kill the spark, whether it's on, off. To bypass this, simply follow the wire down up underneath here and just unplug it. It'll effectively bypass it. Now, another thing that we've run into before is these wires right here, coil wires. Sometimes they're loose. These are good and tight, but sometimes you can grab them and just pull them right off. Well, if they're that loose, then you need to grab a pair of pliers, squeeze them in, and push it on so it's tight again. Um, obviously, making sure that the other wire, you know, set of the wires on it and the spark plug wires on it. Um, kill switch. Kill switches are, no, are um, another failure point. Um, key switches. A key switch can actually make it not have spark as well, too. Um, kill switch. Remote control, I mean. If uh, somebody has hit the uh, lock button on it, it won't start again. Um, if you hit the unlock, depending on which one you have, this is only lock and start. Unlock button, turn the key off, turn the key back on, that'll reset it and go back to its starting point again. Now, um, of course, spark plug, spark plug wires right here. Make sure these are on. One way to test is to see if you have spark verified. I mean, just considering that, you know, we don't know how to do this, is you can pull this off, hold it like this, while somebody is turning it over, that, or you can pull on the handbrake, lock it in, pl lock it in place, reach over, don't touch this metal part because it will zap you if you got spark. Hold the plastic and just hold it a half inch away from the spark plug. Hit the start button. And as it turns over, spark will come off this into that. If it's not, then ultimately you do not have spark. Now, another thing that'll cause it not to have spark is the CDI box. It is this black box right here. Been on this model, there's three different ones. There's a black box with two white plugs. There's a black box with one green plug. Black box green plug is on there. Um, you can swap this box out by simply unplugging it. Now another thing you check too will also kill spark to it or in some cases um, uh, will actually let it run but won't shut off. This is just an extra little tip here is this black and white wire which is center wire. See right here? If this wire ever comes out of this plug or not getting a good connection it can allow the bike to keep running and hit the kill switch won't even shut off. Um, now worst case scenario um, some of these newer bikes, not all of them are like this, but the new, some of the new ones are. This voltage regulator. Um, I've seen them where the voltage regulator will actually not let them run. Another thing is the remote control itself, um, which is, you know, the box for this right here. I've seen them unplugged, not run, or one not working that won't allow it to start as well, too. But them are all the things that can keep you from getting spark. You know, this is the last and final thing that you would replace if, once you've gone through all that stuff, because this is the hardest part to get to. It is the standard itself. This is the stator. It's right behind here. You've got like four eight millimeter nuts, bolts here. Zip them out. Remember when you put it back on, you have a ground here. You will have to pull the plastic off this one, the foot, or at least the foot rest, the shifter bolt. Um, pull those four screws out. You might have to tap it a little bit because there's dowping in it. Pull it off, you have a stator inside there. A lot of times you can smell it and it'll tell you if you know it's burnt or not. Uh, other times just replace it. The cheap, you know, 30, 40 bucks. Um, slap a new one of those on there, plug it in. Of course, always, you know, you check all your wires, make sure everything's plugged in, obviously. You know, kill switch, make sure the kill switch itself doesn't have any wires pulling out of the back side, like right here, or anything like that. Uh, that's another known issue. This right here is the actual uh, shifter position, which should give you the neutral reverse lights. And then you have one more just like it, which is right here, which is the actual stator wires. Now, if this is unplugged or hanging out, or you got one of these wires pulling out the back, that will keep it from getting spark as well, too. So, obviously, make sure that everything's plugged in. Check all the easy stuff first. And then replace from the cheapest to the um, most expensive to the hardest less. Um, now, these uh, coils right here, these never fail. I've literally seen a handful of them in, you know, 10 years that I've been working on these uh, ever fail. So that will be your very last uh, thing you would ever attempt to try to replace on these. Um, after that, if all else fails, you've replaced everything, still not working, still not starting, still not getting spark. Um, just make sure I, you did catch the key switch. Key switch can do it too. Sometimes just a wire on the back side of it, one of the solders can come loose. Other than that, replace the whole entire key switch, they're only like 20, 25 bucks. Um, replace the key switch, but after you replaced every single one of those parts, if it's still, you still not do have, you still do not have spark, um, one last thing that you can check is while you're doing a flywheel, there's a, the hub in here that sits on a pin. Make sure that it hasn't spun off, the little keeper is not in place. I've seen a, 
I've seen it once or twice where the hub can actually strip out and the hub can spin on the cotter, pin, cotter key here, um, the, the keeper. And what happens is it throws it all the time, spins, throw, and you know, you might get an erratic spark, no spark at all. Um, obviously, make sure that the bolt is still in the hub. The hub hasn't ultimately fallen off, or else you would see that once you open it up. I mean, things would just be falling apart and everything. Um, but then it would be a wiring harness. If after all those fillers you replaced every single thing that I've mentioned and none of it works, including your kill switch, which I'm gonna go back over it again. Kill switch, which is this, the start button. This kill switch, uh, the safety plug, which is either on the handlebars or underneath the seat. Not all models have them, but most of the kids stuff do. Um, like I said, you can you don't have to replace this. You can effectively follow the wire down and just unplug this one and it'll bypass it. Um, CDI box. Um, coil, very rare, don't ever replace those. Uh, stator, key switch, and then uh, remote control, voltage regulator, which very rarely would that cause a non-spark issue. I'll be honest with you, I can't remember 100% sure, um, but I, I want to say that on, on one of the newer models, it, um, and I want to say it was this one here, that with uh, a, a voltage regulator would not allow it to get spark. We want it for, have to replace the voltage regulator to get it to run again. Um, that was a head scratcher too, as well as remote controls. All the, some of the new ones, uh, which I believe this one is one of them right here, that the remote control, if it's not working, the actual little black box, I believe it's underneath the seat on this one, um, will actually keep it from getting spark. So, um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Obviously, uh, no spark from here. <coughs> not for the spark plug. If you're getting spark from this to that spark plug, but you're, you're still not starting, and you've already ruled out the carburetor, blown out the carburetor, verify it's getting gas, starting fluid, whatever, still on spark, pull the spark plug out, put the spark plug inside of here, or just buy a new spark plug sticking on there, and do the same thing. Got the spark plug sticking out of here, and turn it over with the end of the spark plug up against a piece of metal and see if it's sparking. And you should have a good, solid, and a blue spark. If you don't, then uh, play spark plug. Other than that, that is every tip trick that there is um, when it comes to spark on these vehicles.